a camp stair charges fifteen dollars to sign up. Fif the fifteen is where it begins, and then it, then it costs ten dollars per class, and that is the slope. Then write a linear function that represents y, the cost of going to x classes. Okay, so what did you call x? X is the number of classes. Uh huh. And y is the cost of going to x classes, which is we found out down here is ninety five dollars. Okay, good. So what's the general equation you're going to work from? We're going to write work from y equals m x plus b. Mm -hmm. And we found over here that b is fifteen and m is ten. So we put that in, and then we found y from right here. So then we put those together because they're equal. So you substituted the 95 in for the y? Yeah. Okay. And now we got to solve it. What are you going to solve for? We're going to solve for x. The number of classes. Okay. So, minus. I like how you have everything lined up here. And then that is 80, 10, yeah. What goes on that line? The equal sign. Good. And then divide by. 10, which equals 8, equals x, which is the number of classes. So All right, let's get credit. There. All right, and you answered in a sentence because you wrote your variables down. Yeah, Looks so. good. Nice job. All right, so I'm going to start off by reading the directions, which is use your formula sheet to find the area of the shapes. The calculator is okay. And so I already found the... Um, Units, which is the base equals 4 and the height equals 5. And the formula, which I got from the formula sheet, is A equals 1 half times base times height. And so you would start off by putting A equals 1 half times 4 times 5. And then A equals... 2 because I multiplied the 1 half times the 4 times 5. A equals 10. And because it doesn't say centimeters or inches, it would be U units. And because it's area, it's units squared. Alright, nicely done. Find the slope of a line that passes through negative 3, 3, and 1, 2. Show the work to support your answer. So I put the coordinate, and then I put another coordinate under it. So this is my x, and this is my y. So, so show me, so show me the uh, change in x on that grid over there. Where are you starting? So you're starting right here, and you're going to positive one, which is over here. So you went two, three, four. So you want positive 4. So I'm going to put a box here. Put positive 4. Okay, and that's your change in x. So yep. let's get your change in x in the graphic organizer for slope. Positive 4. Yep, okay. Now find your change in y. So I'm going to erase this. So I'm 3 feet underground. So I'm right here. And I go 1 foot above ground. Right here. So one, positive four. Oh, and that's my y. Okay, so you went from three feet underground to two feet above ground, so you went positive four. Five. Five, okay. That's your change in y. Alright, so where does that go in the slope fraction? Right here. Alright, so what's your slope? One and one fourth. Is it positive or negative? Positive. Nice. First, do y equals m x plus b, and the y intercept of b is three, and that in its as a fraction. How do you write fraction. that? That's that slope there. How do you write that? As a negative one, and then the x is always going to be one. Right, because that's there's one x up there and there's it's negative right so yeah. it's negative one. good All right so now what are you going to do you're going to go and try to plot that line right so where are you going to begin you're going to begin at the three at the three that's the y-intercept right go yeah. ahead 
So you're going to go down one and then over one and apply it here. All right, show me uh, what you're doing on the on the fraction right here. You're going to go down and then over. Okay, so you're going to begin at the three, and then you're going to follow those directions. So show me again what you did over here on the graph. I went down one and then over one. Okay, and then what do you do to those two points? You draw a line. Looks good. Okay. So, how do you go about translating this horrible English into math? What are you going to look for first? Oh, we're going to look for the equal, okay. equal sign, Find the which equal would be sign. is, and yep. then the easy side, which would be 85. Then we can just go. Nice. Okay, so now you're going to work with the variable, right? So, we've got to get the left side. So, what's our variable? Our variable is J. Okay, so you got to do something to J. It says three times Jim's age. So do 3j. Mm -hmm. Increased by? Should be adding. Yep. Twice his age. Should be 2j. Okay. So we've got an equation, and that's the right equation. So how are you going to go about solving this now? We're going to draw our divider, and then we're going to add uh, all the j's together. So that would be 5j equals 85, and then we're going to divide it by 5. So everything's divided by five, so seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, good. Seventeen fives. Nice. So all right. So Joe had two hundred dollars in his account. He made thirty dollars a day. Okay, can you tell me the the slope and the y intercept there, the M and the B? Um two hundred is B. And he made thirty dollars a day, so it's Positive 30. Okay. And that would be B. Describe, I think you're right. Why do you, why do you say it's B? Because he's making $30 a day. And so it's a, up. so it's a positive slope or negative slope? Positive. Okay, and it starts up in the positive area of 200. All right, that makes sense. Can you make that equation? Yeah. Uh, y equals positive 30x. And then positive 200. Nice. X is equals a number. And so now you got the trans... Wait, the problem. You have to find the equal sign first, which would be is. And right after is is 24. So it would be at, which would be 24. So, and, and this is... It, think, think of it like it's both in a bag. So you have to put them both in the bag. So that's the sum of x and 5. All that stuff is one number, right? Okay. Yes. Good. And then times it with them both by 3. Nice, because it's 3 times yeah. all that stuff. Okay. 3 times 3x would be 3x, and 5 times 3 is 15, and that equals 24. And now you minus 15. Which will give which will give you, which will give you, which will give you nine equals three x. Divide nine by three, and that gives you x equals three. Okay, and, now let's get credit for the and problem. And don't forget right? to put <laughs> to put x equals a number equals three. Okay, so you're gonna get all your points. Did you do everything you need to do? Yes. I think you did. Nice job. Okay, Matt. You're going to look at that point, 3, 5, and tell me whether or not it's a solution to this equation, y equals 2x minus 1. All right? Go ahead. Um, so this is the x, this is the y. Nice. So what are you going to do with the x and the y there? Substitute. Good. So this is 5, and then 2, parenthesis 3 for x. What goes on that line? Oh, equal sign, yep. and minus 1, and then 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1, equals 5, and then 6 minus 1 is 5, so 5 equals 5. So, so what can you say? 3, comma, 5 is a solution for the equation. Nice. Good job.